hard before you all run away. Okay. All right. Now I'm not at the office because I came back from vacation congested. So I'm not there. So I don't know exactly what you guys did with Camille. So um, I heard it went well and you guys had fun. So that's we had good. We fun. Yes. Well, I had to do it on her, on her phone because she couldn't work the, what, the Zoom. And right. Well, of- we couldn't get into Zoom. And for some reason, like the password reset is going to Maggie's phone and it just was a mess. So we couldn't figure it out. So she just was like, well, I'll get everyone's number and we'll do FaceTime. She said it seemed to work out okay. It worked a lot of pop trouble hearing. So I just had to keep staring at what they were doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it worked out fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, it worked out fine for me Good. too, surprisingly. Awesome. Yeah, yes, so the tech world worked out for all you guys. I know. <laughs> uh, so you had a you had a good time. Yeah, it was nice. I haven't. And my mom was like, "Did you have fun? You didn't post any pictures." And I said, "Well, I felt like I posted for work like as little as possible, and then I felt like when we were hanging out, I didn't want to be playing on my phone. I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't get to be on vacation with my friends. So yeah. I like." I haven't Absolutely. done it yet. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, I was in the moment. I didn't have nice. time to yeah. post yet. So I'll, I'll dump at some point in time. And, um, but yeah, my friend's wedding was just beautiful. It was on the sea cliff and Ooh, it just, you hear the waves crashing and oh. Oh my God, it was so nice. And then it was, the dinner was wow. under this big palapa, like one of those big, you know, grassy tents and um you know, I mean, when do you get to go on vacation? The wedding was 56 people. And I think I knew about 30 of the people. So it was like going on vacation with 30 friends and having oh, no wow. agenda. I wasn't in the wedding. So I just got to have fun. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So nice. So good to be back, but could have stayed a little longer. I think it was nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's start with our stretching. I got my timer here. Okay. All right. Okay. So roughly what kind of bridges did you guys do? Double leg, single leg? Anyone remember? She had us do it. <laughs> she had us do a bird dog and she had us do, um, let's see. Uh, come on, ladies. What was the I don't think it was kind of bridges. Because I didn't pay attention. I just did what I could. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. And that was a week ago, so I don't remember. Okay. So nobody's <laughs> worried. Nobody's worried. <laughs> no. Okay. What's the worry? All right. I just didn't want it to be Groundhog's Day and repeat it. Oh. oh no. Listen, you could do the same one every week and we wouldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know. We I try that. not to do that. Plus, we do things in between. And so yeah. 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 Especially Kim and I, we are, we're really at it. Go ahead. Okay, let's go across the body. Get that IT band stretch. Yes, yeah, too bad Gail couldn't come in last Wednesday. It's the yeah. Everybody. Oh, Gail was sicker than a dog last week. I had a really bad cold. On the day you got scheduled for everybody to come in, I caught my husband's cold. I didn't go anywhere. Oh, bummer. Are you all better now? Other than being a little stuffy still. Yeah. Yeah, better. I spent two days in bed. Oh, my God. Did you take a COVID test? Yes, I did. And I gave my husband one when he got it four days earlier. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it seems like you don't know. Just which. had bad colds. And yeah. I know exactly well, that's where it's going around it. again. Yep. Yeah. Because people go out with colds and won't wear masks. Yep. Even asked Marilyn in the paper, said, please, people, wear masks when you got a cold. Yep. All right. Let's go away from the body, get the yeah. groin stretch. Why do people go out when they have a cold? Well, that's really, I came back from my trip congested. And I think back in the day, I would have just taken Sudafed and gone to work. But in today's climate, I think people would be like, what the hell are you doing at work? Yes. 
Or so I decided to you gotta go to work, you gotta wear a mask. Yeah. But even still, I just I stayed home yesterday. Camille was in the office and then I just zoomed in. So it was funny, like Camille was still running around, getting everybody stuff, putting their ankle weights on, but then I was just telling them what to do from home. So it worked out great. Oh. Um, and then today, most of my patients canceled. They didn't want to Zoom. So I've had basically all morning with Zoom and then you guys. And then this afternoon, I'm playing catch up on the 10,000 emails and <laughs> everything that happened while I was gone. Um, and and hopefully tomorrow, I'll, I'll probably stay out of the clinic again just because, and then Thursday, go back. Oh, okay. So will the clinic be closed tomorrow then? No, Camille will be there. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so let's go figure four. Kim, I know you're not going to be there tomorrow, right? And no. And I might be there later, later than usual then. Okay, but we close at three. So keep oh, that in thank mind. You. Thank you for reminding me. So don't go too much later. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, I would go then by two. So I, I just want to do my 10 miles on the bike. Yeah, perfect. Did you see how, how my Fitbit has moved? No, I haven't been tracking that. I actually don't know if I've even updated my own since my watch was slowly dying while I was in Mexico. I didn't bring my charger, so I was trying not to update it very often. Uh, oh, no wonder I was close to you. Oh. No, Lori, you were ahead of her. Oh, you were winning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think I updated it much. Good. It made her feel good. Good. Wow. All right. Let's switch legs. <laughs> I figured, hey, you're at a wedding, you're in Puerto Vallarta. That's well, then part of it was like the days where you just sat on an airplane and then sat in a taxi yeah. and then yeah. sat at lunch and then yeah. sat checking into the hotel. Yeah. yeah. There were days I didn't move that much. And then like there was a day we had a pool party, so I didn't have my watch on. And then we had a boat day and I didn't have my watch on. Yeah, oh, I saw uh, the picture of you. Uh, my backflip. Backflip yeah. off oh my, the my friends, I thought they were going to kill me when I did that because they were so nervous. I was like, I grew up with a diving board. I'm fine. But they were like literally thinking we were going to end up in the emergency room in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> they were like, what are you doing now? And it was like, sorry, too late. I already left. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then I did a front flip too. And then we jumped off the top. The, the guys that ran the catamaran were doing backflips and all kinds of crazy flips off the very top of the boat. I did not feel that confident, so I didn't do that. But the lower oh. platform where I jumped from, I was pretty confident. Oh, you were bored. All right, let's go cross the body for the IT band. Did you ever do the trampoline? Because oh, yeah, I grew up with a trampoline, too. Yeah. Oh, because I was going to say, when you did that dive, it reminded me of when I used to be on the trampoline as a kid. Oh, totally. It's so fun. Like it just brings that like joyous yeah. thing in your face when you start jumping on a trampoline. And, but it's way more exhausting than I remember it being. <laughs> My friend oh. has one for her kids and I went out there and I was like, just to get enough momentum to do a flip, I was like, this is exhausting. I was like, I used to do this for hours as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't do 10 minutes if you made me. <laughs> oh, I loved the trampoline. Oh my yeah, God. so fun. We had a neighbor across the street whose mom was a diving instructor. So she would teach us how to do stuff properly. Oh, wow. Let's go away from the body for the groin stretch. So how many days were you uh, down there? I mean, total days gone was six, but the first day we didn't get there till like 5.30. So basically we had dinner, yeah. checked in at the hotel and went to bed because you're just exhausted from traveling. Yeah. And then Sunday we left the hotel by one. So uh -huh. really like five days of vacation. So it was oh, good. 
Nice. Very yeah. nice. Oh. It was much needed. I haven't gone anywhere except for my little wine tasting trip with my friends to um, Paso Robles. I mean, I hadn't gone further than like a family member's house in three years. So yeah. it was nice. Very nice. Okay, um, figure four. Yeah, my friends, because it's their wedding, created this shared album and I think invited most of the 56 people from the wedding to add photos to it. Oh, nice. So there's like 10,000 photos to look through from the vacation. <laughs> so, and it's funny because they're, you know, the same picture, but from five different angles because different people were taking it and you're like, oh, I look skinnier in this one. Okay, I'm going to delete that one and upload this one and like... <laughs> It's kind of oh. funny. So I still need to go through all that and, you know, parts cool. of the wedding that you're like, oh, I didn't even see that happen, you know, because you're on the other side of the room or whatever. Yeah. So it's cool. kind of fun. Can, can we see them when we're there after you get them all put together? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I need to just take out the ones I need. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll go through it. Oh, I'd love to see them. Okay. Good. Okay, done with that. Let's go on to our side and do quad stretch. And does everyone have their ankle weights available? Yep. 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 We'll use those today. Oh, ah. uh oh, we cramping. I forgot to um, take my tiling all and put my patches on this morning for some reason. I don't usually Got it. So I'm a wreck <laughs> in my back. Oh no. I had to take Tylenol because my skin is sort of hurting. I had my um, fourth, my second booster yesterday. Oh. Oh. I know, I think my parents are going to get theirs this week because they go to Hawaii in two weeks and Hawaii's numbers are apparently up again. So I was like, you guys better get that before you go. Yeah. I got mine. I didn't have any side effects at all. Mm. Did you have Moderna or Pfizer? I forget. Pfizer. Pfizer, yes. Yeah. So my parents have been done Pfizer up till now and they're like, should we do Moderna to switch it up or stay with Pfizer? So I don't know, ask your doctor. <laughs> yeah, no yeah I, say, I say Moderna. You think switch it up? No, I've always had Moderna, but all the yeah. results have been better. Okay, let's That's switch sides. Yeah, I don't know. As long as I think they don't it even, get... <laughs> yeah, or even don't get a severe case, right? That's all you care right. about. Yeah. Yeah. This year is the year of the vaccines, I'll tell you. I yeah, know I know. I, you got to get like pneumonia, shingles. Flu. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely get shingles, everybody. I know. I got both did that, of I think, too. <laughs> what, what? The shingles one is two shots now or three? Yeah, it's two. 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 You need to do them at least two to three weeks apart. Yeah. And that's after age 50, 60? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. Yeah, it's I think for older people, now. but I don't yeah. know what the week's break is. I don't think I'm quite there yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our back. Do you remember what kind of bridge you did? Nobody remembers? No. <laughs> well, she definitely didn't do that step out one. She had, what did she do? She didn't do I don't... March one. Maybe she did. The marching, bridge with the march? No, she did not. No, she no. did the marching one. What do you guys want to do today? No, we don't care. How oh, maybe, do that? maybe she had us put our band around our 
knees and do that. Oh, just, and open up that way. All right, well, let's, let's do a bridge with a march today. Oh, God. What the band we, said we did it. What? We should have said we did that. No, you don't need the band. No. No band. Oh this is the one where we'll the come up to the on. top of the bridge, march right leg, march left leg, put your butt back down, then come up and then alternate and do left leg first, then right leg second, and then down. Okay. While okay. doing the march, the goal is to try to maintain your height and to not let your pelvis rock side to side. Okay. And we'll try to go for 90 seconds. All right. Ready, set. Go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do what you can. If you can't march for the first few, Kim, just get your back moving in the right direction. If you can try to remember to alternate which leg goes first, try. <laughs> Sometimes I know it's hard on the brain. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Got ten more seconds. And down. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then let's put ankle weights on. Okay. And if you have enough to put a set on both sides, let's do that. Carolyn, do you only have one? Thank you. What was the temperature in Puerto Vallarta? Uh, it ranged from like 70 to 85. It was perfect. Like no need oh. for a jacket at night. It was great. Oh, God, that sounds perfect. I know. And then I got home and got off the plane at SF and it was freezing and foggy. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to go on the back. The leg you're not lifting will be bent to help protect your back. You're going to make sure your tummy stays tight. You're going to press your back and the knee down to the ground so that your front of your thigh muscle gets really tight. Flex your foot. And then I only want to lift up about a foot off the ground. Hold it. One, two, three. Down slow. One, two, three. Down slow. Now, as I get tired, I want to make sure my knee doesn't start to get limp. Keep it locked straight. I will go 90 seconds on each side. Did you, ready? Say, did you say push the back, your lower back down? No, the back of your knee down to the ground. <coughs> oh. In other words, lock your knee. Yeah, lock your knee. All right, ready? Go. But keep your back neutral, right? Back neutral, yes. Don't smash your back. It doesn't like that. No, I didn't think so. That's why I didn't I, think so. I, I that's why I was surprised. I thought I heard you say it. <sighs> I know it's so hard to break people's habit of that. That like undoing 1990s back rehab. <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible.
Is this okay on your back, Kim? Yeah, we do okay. this all the time. Good. Yeah. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> <laughs> We actually do it every time. Yeah, we do. And we do it with the roller in under our knees. Oh, yeah, good. We, okay. We do that too. Like That's you said. Good. Yeah. Well, I feel like you guys just like do everybody's um, rehab plus this. <laughs> okay. Everything we can think of. <laughs> yep. Switch sides. <laughs> I need to wiggle your back around, take a break, and do that. All right, keep those quads engaged. Try to flex your foot back towards your face so you get your shin involved. Ready, go. As you get tired, make sure you're not lifting too high, only about halfway up your lower leg. Yeah, it was so nice to like feel warm and float in the pool. The ocean was not as hot as I thought it was going to be, though. It had a little burr to it still. I guess it's kind of, kind of early in the year. Yeah. Were, were you mostly in the pool? In, uh, the we, did, we did a little bit of both. There was one day we took a catamaran and we were gone from like nine till three. And oh. so part of it was they drove us out to a cove and then they dropped anchor. And then that's where we were like jumping off. The boat into the ocean and then they had like paddle boards and things to float on and oh. they served us snacks and lunch and breakfast and all you could drink all day it was like I was like I could do this every day this is <laughs> you don't have to do anything just put on sunscreen that's all I did all day oh heavenly yeah it was great and I was like can we retire and do this every day this would be so fun <laughs> Love Puerto Vallarta. I, well, we all are like, we love the water too. And it's like, yeah. everybody's so water safe that we just could relax, right? You weren't worried about anyone drowning. and Yeah. Okay, good? Oh, yeah. Now let's roll on your side, please. We're gonna keep the ankle weights on. So if everyone rolls towards the computer, you're gonna have your top leg in front and your bottom leg is gonna be straight and we're gonna lift the bottom leg towards the ceiling. This leg that's crossed in front can be up or down. I don't care about that. But when we look, I don't have room to lie down, but bear with me here. When we look here, I wanna make sure that my leg is in line with my torso and not forward or backwards. Got it? Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna stay on that side when we're done and we'll do the top leg lift. Okay. Okay? Okay. I think we all got the purple blue day. Yeah. Well, Okie dokie. Ready, set, go. So knee locked, foot flex so that your toes are straight ahead. Don't let your toes turn down or up. Come straight ahead. You should be feeling this in the inside of your knee, thigh, groin area. I hear a bird. I know. I was just going to say, where is that coming from? I don't know. <laughs> is it right outside my window? I don't know. That was a very loud bird noise. It was. It's not outside my window. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I heard that too. 
I know yesterday I kept hearing a phone ring and I'm like, where is that coming from? And it wasn't my phone. It wasn't the clinic phone. And it was one of the patients on Zoom's phone. And I was like, oh, are you going to answer that? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Take a moment, stay on that same side, but switch legs. So bottom leg bent, bring your bottom leg forward too, so that you have something to kind of roll forward to and kind of purchase and perch up on. Um, Cause you want to make sure to keep your top leg slightly behind you. Yeah, so what, there you go. what are we going to do with this leg? The bottom leg is bent like you have it. That's perfect. Okay. And yeah. then we're left. Lifting the back leg. Lifting again. the top leg, yes. But we want to make okay. sure that if you look at, like, I don't want to go straight to the side. I want to go back a little bit. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Okay, ready? Uh huh. Oh. Danielle, I love the pink that you're wearing. Thanks. I had to uh, accentuate my tan <laughs> before it all washes off. Oh, you're so lucky. I got a little bit of tan because I had a water polo tournament in San Diego right before we left. So I went to San Diego Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, came home, worked Monday, a long day, and was on an airplane again Tuesday to go to Mexico. Oh my God. Yeah, that's crazy. You couldn't have just gone from San Diego to Mexico? Well, I felt like I had to work at least one day, (laughs) but I could have. Oh. Yeah, so it was a crazy long day, and I was kind of packed already before I left, so I just had to, like, put everything in the suitcase and, like, switch over some toiletries and wasn't too bad. Oh, good. Because I I just tried to squeeze in like all our surgical patients in one day, so at least everybody got seen that week. Oh, sure. And then I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, now don't wait three more years before you take a vacation. I know. Okay. Good. Rest a moment and we got to switch sides. And we're going to do the opposite order so your leg gets to rest. We'll actually start with the top leg lift because that should ideally be the leg that was just resting. Correct? Correct. Yes. Yeah, you had to think about that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So bottom leg bent. Top leg straight, slightly behind. So opposite <coughs> order to which we did the last. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes, thank you. All right. All right. Core in tight. Ready, set, go. As you get tired, make sure your knee stays locked. Make sure your leg stays behind. Ma'am and Dunnies and well, everybody's very focused. <laughs> but it takes concentration. I know. To keep it back. And your core tight and not fall over. Sideline is actually really hard. It is. People don't think about it, but it is. That's at my house is damn crows. Oh, yeah, that there were these like uh, Mexican version of crows, whatever they are, but they were in a really obnoxious blackbird. And oh my God, so early every morning was like that horrible squeaky squeal, not pretty bird chirping in the morning. Yeah. 
All right, let's switch, put the top leg over in front, bottom leg straight, right in line with your torso. But it was so nice, like falling asleep and waking up to the waves crashing. That was really oh, nice. Yeah. I was like, I can get used to this. <laughs> it was very relaxing. I thought about putting like a fake sound of waves on my phone last night to fall asleep. Missed it. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Look at that bottom leg straight. Flex your foot so your toes are facing forward. When I got home, my roses went like insane while I was gone. Oh, nice. And so it looked so nice, but then some of them were a little overdone, so I pruned them down yesterday. Oh. My pink ones are like the size of my face. They're huge. Wow, take a picture. Okay. Are these the roses that you dug up from your grandparents? House? Some of them are, and some of them I bought just because, you know, it's hard when you're like trying to remember what color roses were where in the yard after you pruned them, oh, when you dig them up when they're dormant. And I'm like, I think this is the one I want. So I left them all in a bucket the first year till they bloomed, and I guessed wrong on two of them. Oh. I gave those two to my one to my aunt and one to my cousin so then I ended up buying two roses to take the place of what I thought I bought or dug up oh. so a couple of them are purchased and a couple of them are uh -huh. transplants okay now Question is, can we get up from the floor with our ankle weights on? Because I want to do one more. I want to do the one where we stand and try to kick ourselves in the bottom. Now, as you can see here, I want my thighs to stay parallel. I don't want it to become like a march where I let my leg come forward. Mm -hmm. So thighs parallel, heel towards your rear end. You can hang on to something for balance. Looking at it this way, too. Thighs parallel. Don't pee on a fire hydrant. Oh, you're just moving your your one leg up and down, right? Yeah, yeah. trying to kick yourself right. in the butt. So you're working your hamstring. Don't go so deep that you cramp them. That's the only problem with doing this exercise. Are we going? I think everyone is up. <laughs> everyone I'm, like I'm slow. Okay. So in other words, we keep our knees together, really. Yeah, so roughly knees. I mean, they don't have to be yeah. squeezed taut together, but yes, right. lined up and parallel. Okay. That's what I meant, yeah. Ready, set, go. So play with how much you bend. Don't bend so much that you feel like your hamstring's about to cramp. Oh, you guys are focusing and doing that. What arms did you do? Did you do pulls? Did you do push? Did you do biceps? Triceps? You didn't do any arms. I don't think we did, so. We did the squats with the arm curls. Oh, you did squats and biceps. Okay, so we should do triceps today. Yeah, yeah that's right. All right. There's definitely a bird somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my yard, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I'm going crazy on your Tweety Birds. <laughs> I can hear the kids playing out in the schoolyard down in Park School. I know I love that sound too. My friend lives by a school and like Thank listening you. to the kids play sports and recess. It's, that's another happy noise to me. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Ready, go. I'm 
And this can also be done sitting in the chair with a band around your ankle and pulling back. It's just an option since we have our ankle weights on. Almost there, home stretch. All right, okay. Yeah. So for sake of time, can we just leave ankle weights on? Yes, sure. Okay. All right, so I have closed my band in a door. I think most of you have this same situation. What I wanna do is have some significant tension on the band while my elbows are in at my side. And I wanna just do just triceps. So my shoulder blades are gonna stay pinched. I'm gonna keep very good upright posture, shoulder blades back, core tight. It's kind of already has tension on it at this point. And all I'm gonna do is straighten my elbow, bend my elbow, straighten my elbow, bend my elbow. So we're trying to really work on our triceps. So not whole arm today. So elbows bent, hands right to the side of my hips. So my upper arms never leave my side. Okay, my upper arms never leave my arm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Uh, yep. All right. We're going to do this until the time cuts out, and then all you owe me is your uh, calf stretches on your own. Cool. Okay. Good class, Danielle, and welcome back. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Are we going? Now? Yeah, we're going. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I have to miss tomorrow and all the stories. Oh, that's all right. I'm having lunch with my travel friend and our travel agent in Petaluma. Oh, where's your next trip? To Europe in the fall. It's, it's not World War Three or another pandemic. I know. I know. My aunt's going. She's leaving God, in two or three weeks, I think. I said, I don't know if I really want to go closer to that, but I don't know. It's all plays a cruise. There's all places I've been, but 